calculate the angle at which second order reflection will occur in x-ray spectrometer when x-rays of wavelength 1.54 angstrom are diffracted by the atoms of crystal the interplanar distance is now students this is the question of bragg equation right i hope you remember bragg equation what was that Now the Bragg equation was n lambda is equal to 2d sine theta. Right? And what was this? Do you remember? It was that there are the in the crystal there are layers present. Right? Now when the X-rays are incident to it, they are diffracted. right now the path difference of the diffracted ray is what is the integral multiple of lambda now what was the path difference the path difference was say this is a e and b f so the lines in the ae direction will move to a shorter distance whereas the lines in the bf direction will move to a longer distance so this difference in path is the integral multiple of n lambda or integral multiple of wavelength right and what was d over here d is the spacing between the two layers then we had the angle what is that the theta theta is the angle of reflection right now in this case here so what can be n n is the order of what reflection it means it is the number of layer from which the reflection has taken place So here n is equal to two. Now what is the distance between the two plates? It is four point zero four angstrom. And what is the wavelength of the X-rays? It is one point five four angstrom. Right. Now let's take up. It is n lambda, so it is two into the wavelength that is one point. 5 4 into 10 to the power uh, i don't think so there is need to convert it to meters or centimeters so we'll take it straight and that is equal to 2 into the distance between the two that is 4.04 and sin theta right so what will be theta equal to theta will be equal to sin inverse and 2 into 1.54 divided by 2 into 4.04 now just solve this so we are having theta is equal to sin inverse and solve it students so it is 1.54 divided by 4.04 and this will give you 0.38 so this is 0.38 so find out the sin inverse of it so it will come out to be your theta comes out to be 22 degrees 24 minutes or radians right so this is the way the angle can be found similarly students likewise if in this type of question where bragg equation is to be applied you can be asked to find out the order of reflection that is n or the wavelength of the incident light that is lambda or the distance 
so any of them can be a variable read and any of them can be asked so what is the answer of this question it is theta is equal to 22 degrees 24 radians right